This is us. This is us going live. <laughs> is this us live? <laughs> There's like a delay. There's always a delay. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll have to get out of that page. You'll get confused. So if I click out of that, I'm still live? That's what it used to be, but. Yes, yeah. we are. Hey everybody. Oh, happy, happy Saturday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We are here. We made it. Happy Saturday. Top knot. Didn't even have my coffee, but we are here, ladies. Um, we're bringing you a new time because we are hoping you are just sitting around um, having some coffee, hanging out with your kids. My kids are hanging out here. They may join this. Um, but we're just wanted to say hi and visit with you guys a little bit on motherhood this morning. So Reagan, what you got? What do I got? Well, I figured since we're coming up to mother's day, I don't know. I always start to try to like compare myself and make sure I feel like a real rock star. I do that every day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it just, it helps me keep a very positive self-image, but, um, yeah. So I brought on my baby, baby sister. I have two little sisters. I can't even hear you. Cause I talk so loud. Talking. I just want to know when you don't feel like a rock star. <laughs> it's rare I mean, right now. I'm not even wearing my bra, but that's why I'm keeping it just the head up. I told my husband when we're trying to get on, I was like, go get me a hat. And Katie, like, oh, well, Katie's been like, working on this for an hour and 15 minutes, like just to get us live. So awesome. I feel like we're going to all want leave this talk encouraged. All right. Um, but yeah, so I just really today, because we are talking about motherhood and that could be like a gamut of things, but I'm, you know, a mom with four kids, as we know, varying ages, my oldest being 11 in sixth grade, my youngest being five years old and in a preppy K program. And then I've got my sister with her two babies, one at three, the other almost two and pregnant with her third. I just got to share this most disturbing thing that's happened to me this week. That's why I have to tell myself a rock star is I took her to one of her doctor's appointments, three different doctors that were seeing at the same office. Each time they came, they looked at me and like I was the pregnant one. And I was like, oh my gosh. So by the third time we're visiting the doctor, I'm literally sucking in my stomach, barely breathing. She's pregnant. Stop me. That's how small a pregnant woman she is. Okay. I've never had that problem. So cute. So, so cute. happy Mother's Day. People still yeah. think I'm okay. pregnant. Okay. Yes, here. Oh. That's the only way kids see. I just don't know why we even have clothes as adults. I mean, yeah. honestly, like we enjoy it with no clothes as kids. <laughs> so most, I want to say we're going to go through quick. Um, I see Mary online with us. Mary, post in the comments. The most surprising thing about motherhood is or was dot, dot, dot. Fill in the blank. We're going to answer yeah. it while we go on with our things. But I'm going to jump to Tessa and see oh Sonia you too most surprising thing about motherhood put it in the comments and Katie's gonna reply read it back out to us Tessa most surprising thing is motherhood um I think I mean there's a lot of things when Reagan asked me about what was the most surprising thing there were a lot of things that jumped out at me some serious some funny but I thought since we're going lighthearted I'll keep it lighthearted and I think you go serious. Oh, I'm all, I've already decided what I'm going to say. I don't want to change it mid thought, Reagan. <laughs> okay. I'll roll like I planned out my little talk. Uh, I'd say the complete and utter lack of privacy from even when your kids are with you, of course, there's no privacy, but even when they're not with you. And with that, I feel like I want to share my uh, a poop story because who doesn't love a good poop story? Like, <laughs> I mean, there's, I have all poop stories for any kind of season, any kind of occasion. But I, my two, my three-year-old was still sleeping. Uh, she comes down. I had just got out of the bathroom. She looks at me, he's like, mom, were you in the bathroom? I was like, I was, sweetie. I was just going potty. She's like, what were you doing? were you going poop? Were you going pee? And I was like, and then why should, why are you doing that? So needless to say, there's no privacy. If your kids are not with you, they still want to make sure they know exactly what you're doing 
when they're not with you. So I think that was surprising. I kind of thought like, well, when they're not there, they won't really care what I'm doing. But they do. Well, I mean, I would also like with that, it's like even Katie right now, have you noticed in yeah. motherhood, for some reason, our kids never want, like, I mean, of course they want to be with us, but they don't really want to be with us, want our attention until we're on an important phone call. We've decided to Facebook live or Zoom it, right? Then at that point, it's like we've now become the most exciting person in the world. You know, like yes. having an intense yes. conversation with our husband, all of a sudden they decide to be quiet and yes. listen. And you're like, now could you not just talk? Like that's, it's a weird, it's like almost like an internal thing that they have put on. So yes. Katie, what about you? You still have young kids. Yes, and I am still here. Um, I'm thinking, you know, your time is just not your own, own anymore. Motherhood is a mm. sacrifice, an amazing oh, sacrifice. Yay. There's daddy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> um, yeah, you just, <laughs> like, everyone's like, oh, I'm so excited that it's the weekend. And I'm like, hmm, it's just an, a same old day. You know, but it's, it's good, but it's like, you know, it's not your own anymore. And that's a good thing, but it's a heavy thing. Um, sometimes yeah. when you're like, I just need, you know, time off as a mom, you don't really get to clock out. And, um, I think we're created to be able to take that role. Um, but it doesn't mean it'll be easy. I don't know if that yeah. Yeah. even God rested. All right. <laughs> yeah. God had to take a day of rest and motherhood. There is no rest. There's no clocking out. I, that's, that's why I feel like we're a little bit closer to being like Jesus moms, because we are constantly sacrificing. All right. Let's just take this in constantly sacrificing. Oh, well, Sonia said as adults, how much my children still need their mommy. So Sonia, what you're saying is that motherhood never ends. Actually, on that note, I do have this quick little story that I have to tell because I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's about, hey, morning, Danielle. Um, anybody that just logging on to our quick question is the one surprising thing about motherhood for me was dot, 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 fill in the blanks, post it in the comments, and we're going to kind of respond to it as we go. But um, so you brought up a thing about like, you're still their mother is when they're adults. Well, this is a news article about a woman whose son obviously had taken some wrong paths. Maybe he ate too much candy, watched too much TV. Needless to say, he was incarcerated as an adult, broke out of the prison that he was in. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going there, ladies. Uh, next thing you know, he's like, he's, you know, hiding, right? Well, his mom passes away and in her obituary, she puts, she's survived by and lists the kid, the guy's new fake name. So the police end up capturing him because the mom put his new alias that he was living under in the obituary. So you never stop being a mother. Yep. <laughs> and yep. your mom probably like her dying wish. And she's like, you know, my son needs to pay for what he's done. I don't know. <laughs> so let's all these little, <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't really know where it went with that, but I just thought that was a pretty crazy story. <sighs> I think um, for me, now, like what's interesting, because I've got kind of like, I still got the little kids, but obviously everybody's potty trained now. When I threaten them to go to sleep, they actually do it, you know, minus my five-year-olds, you know, it's like they will <laughs> one day, those threats will actually work. You know, we like try to threaten our little kids. It's like, you better go to sleep or you're going to be in big trouble. And then it's like, you just go to sleep. I'll give you a treat tomorrow. You're going to watch a show. And you wake up. Like we are kind of like a threat bribe. I just know for me now, like it's a very, um, I don't know. Now I'm worried. I feel like my consequences are like a lot bit deeper with my kids. Like, am I giving them the attention that they need? I mean, we already feel like that as little kids, but now it's like with a bigger child, it's like, okay, am I knowing everything she wants to tell me? Like, even though as little kids, it's like, quit talking. I'm so tired. Mommy will give you five dollars to be quiet. So yeah. When I go through those stages where I'm always like, oh, they're so little, they're gonna like how's this can go so quickly, but then I'm like, okay, there's a reason it's 18 years so that I think it will take me 18 years to be like, okay, let them go. Let them go. They can do this. Like, oh, it's hard. Yeah. 
No, it is. And it's only at, like somebody said to me, motherhood, it's, we've got them for 18 summers. They say mm-hmm. years. I'm already like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I didn't have to tap out. Okay. These demanding kids. But for today, for my Mother's Day present, we're cleaning my house so that I can wake up tomorrow and have a clean house. Is that so crazy? That's you know? so good. Um, all right. Oh, Danielle Madsen, she wrote, the one surprising thing about motherhood for me was my son's infatuation with his you-know-what at around three years old. <laughs> That's why I only have girls, okay? <laughs> I, as I'm pregnant with my, with my only boy, I have two girls. I'm pregnant with a boy. I've told, I'm just very concerned. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what my sister, like my little kid, my little girls are going to be when they see their brother. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. Like I was like, sex ed's going to happen really early on in my house when it's like, no, that's girls have a vagina, <laughs> have a penis. <laughs> it's like kindergarten cop episode. <laughs> it's going to be your little kid at school. Uh, my mommy says, yeah. No. Well, ladies, it's, we're actually keeping it short on our coffee talk today because we're just, we're going to, this is actually going to be our new time for all of you watching for the month of May. Fingers crossed Saturday mornings. It's going to be, what is that? It's going to be 830 mountain standard time, 730 yep. here Pacific time. Like Katie and I are showing has obviously had to come with makeup and hair done. Yeah. Just sport my glasses, you know. I woke up like just, a uh, Yeah, she wakes up this <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to just try to like start seeing if this even works time because we want to have a little bit more online live engagement so that when we have questions, we can actually see them posted and respond to it, you know, and look for, we're going to have some surprise guests every week, someone that we could actually be surprising them. One of my goals is just to be showing up at my friend's house and letting them know like, guess who's on with me today? So yeah, all of a sudden, I've, some people are unfriending me from Facebooks right now. So yeah, Danielle, you could end up becoming our surprise guest. I just love how she says now she can do it because she works on Mondays. That's, that's like even the one parting note. I just want to say like, you know, my one thing, like sometimes I think as moms, we always are more critical of ourselves than we are in any other area. Like we might be a little critical on our way, but we're like, whatever. I gave birth to like kids or I've got a job where I'm sitting all the time or you know what? My metabolism is slow, that thyroid thing, you know, I'm big boned, whatever we want to say. Okay. This is what I tell myself and I feel really good about it. So feel free to use them ladies. <laughs> but motherhood can be one of those critical like areas. And I think today there's always something that, um, yeah, Mary actually, she just said what I was going to say. So surprising is the level of frustration and then the level of reward. There's nothing to me as frustrating and there's nobody as annoying as my own children, but there's nobody I love as much. I want to be with all the time. Yes. And how is that? It's like this thing. So, um, one last like little closing story. <laughs> See if you guys can guess this. this. This was like one of the most written about stories about was this woman, his mom and dad that had their, their kid and, you know, they're all on a trip. They're with a bunch of family and friends. It's like a huge group, you know, next day they're like taking off to go to the next spot. A day later, they realized their one child, their oldest son wasn't with them. So they're like frantically, like they're talking to everybody. They're like flipping out. They're just like, oh my gosh, where is it? I thought you're watching it. I thought you're watching it. They're with so-and-so, like relatives, whatever. Like, you know, this mom is just frantic. I can't even imagine. I've lost my kid at Target for about a minute and was like flipping out, you know, just <laughs> so mad at them. Okay. Um, anyways, eventually they just like start like anything, you can't find something. What are we going to do? We're going to retrace our steps. They retraced their steps and eventually like found him. Does anybody remember that story? Mm-hmm. Good. Anybody heard that? I'm going to just fill it in. That yep. was the mother of yep. Jesus. That was the woman that God chose to watch uh, the savior of the world. So I'm just saying, ladies, whenever you're sitting there, you're like, oh, I might suck as a mom. No, man, if God picked Mary, you obviously like, <laughs> 
<laughs> amazing woman, but could lose Jesus, the savior of the world. This person that you live, an angel visited you in person to give you this baby. Like, wow, we've got, we've got nowhere to go, but up ladies, nowhere to go, yeah. but up today. So happy mother's day. She's velvet steel. Um, have an amazing weekend, an amazing Mother's Day. Just know that we're thinking about you. We're praying for you. Yeah. I'm a little worried about my niece climbing those wooden steps in her onesie back there. <laughs> I guess Tess has really taken that to heart. I got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> All right. All right. right. Just, just go ahead and um, if you're watching again, push re um, type replay. But we really want to hear from you. Like, you know, motherhood, leave stuff in the comments. We want to connect with you. We want to just you know, show up at your house, Reagan might, you know, just, you know, but we just really want to be a community that is together and is there for each other. And just, we want to be real with you. So um, happy Mother's Day. If you're a mom, if you're um, not a mom, if you want to be a mom, if you're a yeah. grandma or a dog mom or a cat mom, or like you are our girl <laughs> and we are, we are so glad that you are here. So um, I think I'm even going to pick somebody from um, watching live that stayed with us today. And I'm going to mail you a coffee card too. So what? Um, yeah, go have some coffee. Um, live it up this weekend. Do your thing, girls. And we love you so much. And look at that cutie. Ah. Oh, well, Robin Kramer, she lost her son at a mall. No judgment. You're just more like the mother of Jesus than any of us. Yeah, Way to go. <laughs> God might have chosen you. So let that like just sit in your brain. So yes, yep. women, we're just celebrating us. We're just celebrating, you know, there's many ways to be a mom. And we do know like some, I have a lot of friends including my own sister will share a story sometimes who just struggled in fertility, <laughs> go deep and light, deep and light ladies. But at the end of the day, you're, you're always mothering somebody. Yes, absolutely. Mother, like you don't have to have had kids to be a mother. Like that's, you can, like I, before I had my own kids, when I was praying and crying out for God to be able to have my own kids, I felt like I mothered my nieces, my Reagan's girls, where it was like, I just, I love those girls so much that I just, Mother Mother's Day does have a little bit of a, a bittersweet blessing to it where it's like, yes, I do have these beautiful babies that God's blessed me with, but some women, we do struggle with infertility. And that's something where I feel like Mother Mother's Day can be a hard day for them when you're longing for something. So for all those that maybe don't have kids and want kids, it's, you are still a mother to those around you. So, yeah, trust me. She's kind of my fill in organizational mother right now. Even though she's my little sister. I don't know what I'm going to do without her. She's making me meals for next week. Happy Mother's Day. All right. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. Bye, everybody.